Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. But what I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and you are very welcome here. Now, I have seen a tag going round where people go to Sephora and fill up a basket of a thousand pounds their fantasy basket they got given a thousand pound gift card for Sephora or a thousand dollar gift card I should say for Sephora oh what would they buy so I am um, I wanted to join in so here I find out all the hoops I had to jump through to do this oh my darlings as I've said for some time and oft here echoed on less imaginative channels Sammy the Sloth Straw here agrees Grab a drink Grab a snack Put your feet up And get comfy Here it comes Right now I don't know if Americans are aware of this uh, But when we try to get onto the American Sephora site, it rather rudely diverts us straight through to the French site, which doesn't have the same things on it that the American site has. Now, the American site used to ship to the UK, they no longer do. So they don't allow us access to the website anymore. Uh, so I switched on my VPN. <laughs> Told it I was in New York somewhere. Wait, let me have a look at the uh, website. Now I've seen a few people go over the thousand dollar mark. And uh, seeing as how the day that I did mine, which was Sunday the 23rd of August, I thought, well, you're given a thousand dollars. What if I was given a thousand pounds? Well, a thousand pounds at that point in time the exchange rate would be $1,308.95 then my basket only came only say it quickly it doesn't sound that much to $1,246 so although it's over the thousand dollar limit it's under the hum it's under the thousand pound limit because as I said on that day with the exchange rate I would have spent £951.91 pence. So I'd have had 50 quid left over for a couple of bottles of gin and tonic. Ah. Right, so I'm going to gently lean to one side because my back is killing me. Yeah, no surprise there. And also so I can put pictures up here. Because clearly I don't have the items because nobody gave me a gift card for Sephora. Okay, enough of this sickness. Right. First thing I put on my list because I'm completely intrigued um, and I want to find out whether the quality really is worth the price. I put the Pat McGrath. Mothership 8 Artistry Eyeshadow Palette Divine Rose 2 Collection Could you 
have any more words on it, Pat? Could you? Really? Are you charging us per letter? Is that why it's so damn expensive? Anyway, this is the palette. Um, I'm intrigued by that multi-chrome. Because indie brands have been doing multi-chromes for quite a while now. And it'll be interesting to see just how it compares to some of the multi-chromes that I've got here from companies like I'm a glitter, blush tribe, etc. But even if I just if I ignored the multi-chrome, the rest of the palette is something that, that would call to me colour scheme wise. Um, the colour above that hot pink reminds me very much of Anastasia's Born Fresco which to me is the ultimate neutral shade that's oh, hubby just coming in the back door um, so yeah that would be the first thing that I would put on there if I had this this amount to spend at Sephora hubby's now washing his hands I know, washing my hands washing my hands defeat the lurgy by washing your hands And singing about it apparently. Uh, the current price for that on the day that I was on the Sephora site, $125. Oh. Expensive. Yes. The next thing I decided to pop into my little fantasy basket is the Charlotte Tilbury Look Sets Refresh Pillow Talk option because as with Nars with their orgasm everything and Too Faced with their peach everything and their clover everything and now they seem to have gone into spice everything pumpkin spice everything uh, no, first two were gingerbread spice oh. in uh, 2018 and 2019. You had gingerbread spice and extra spicy, and then this year is pumpkin spice. They could collaborate with Jerry Halliwell and release the ginger spice palette. It's a genius move. <laughs> see what I put up with? <laughs> Do you see what I put up with? Come on, a bit of 90s nostalgia would sell quite well. <laughs> you know the 90s are 30 years ago now, right? Yeah, but it's, there's still nostalgia in it because people perceive it for being a lot better than it was at the time. Very I gin just remember dodgy shell suits and really bad indie music. Yeah, that's kind of Anyway, weird. getting back to what I'm meant to be doing right Sorry, now. I'm just being jingoistic. <laughs> See you later. Love you. Love you. This limited edition online only set is $220. Contains full fat lashes mascara, classic eyeliner, cheek to chic blush, lip cheat lipstick, matte revolution lipstick. Lip Lustre Gloss, Exaggerize Luxury Palette in shades Prime Enhance Smoke and Pop, and a makeup bag. And according to Charlotte, my Pillow Talk universe will make your eyes look brighter, that your lips look fuller and wider, and your complexion will be enhanced in seconds. These are my sultry, seductive shades for pillow talk magic. But I'm going to charge you $220. Uh, the next thing I thought I'd pop in there is a much more reasonable $24. And is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Lil Fly Stunner Mini Eye and Lip Set. Um, which is the Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner and Stunner Lip Paint. Um, 0.2ml of eyeliner 
and 2ml of lip colour. Um, I just, I like a good red lipstick but I don't know yet whether I'd like the Fenty one. I've heard a lot of mixed reactions about it. I've heard good things about the liner so I wouldn't mind trying that out. Um, but apparently the, the lipsticks are a bugger to store as well so I figure if I start off with the mini version I can decide if I like it or not. Moving on I would then add to my cart a $239 item the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 28 the purple blue variety um, eyeshadows in Cool Plum uh, which is mocha with red undertones, vintage red tone, but I'm not going to list all of these, that's ridiculous. Um, and then the other half of it, well that's the purple blue side, and then there's the green brown side as well. Um, I really like the look of those. That That's my colour scheme. Purples, greens, blues, that, that's me all over. There's a fair amount of neutrals in there and there's a couple of greys, but I still would like to try. So far, in terms of Natasha Denona, I've tried two of her little, you know, little tiny ones that are about the size of a USB stick, normally about 25 bucks. I've tried the Tropic one and the Mini Gold, and I've got the, um, the Love Palette, the new one, the 65 buck one. Um, to try it, but I really want to try one of her larger ones because I'm told that the quality is different so I would be interested to try that and as I said it, it's my favourite colour scheme and the palette that I've got that contains those three colours together is the Cena 2 from Blush Tribe which obviously I'm not going to use too much on camera now because Blush Tribe no longer exists <laughs> I did buy a backup of the uh, palette though. The next thing I would add in, because it is my favourite perfume, and it is a 3.4 ounce bottle of Chanel number no. 5, which would be $135. But, to me, that is my absolute ideal. I love that perfume. It's my absolute favourite. So, I would have to take advantage of getting the biggest bottle that Sephora do. Uh, next thing, again, slightly more attainable price-wise, <clears throat> at $44.00 is the uh, Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream eyeshadow palette. Uh, the only Dominique Cosmetics that I've got is the Lemonade palette and I quite like that. And I really like the colour theme of this. So I would add this into my little fantasy basket. I would also add, this is the most expensive thing in here, at $399, the Dyson Supersonic Hairdryer Limited Edition Gift Set, which has the hairdryer in hot pink, a brush, and a comb. Um, I rarely, rarely blow dry my hair. Um, when I do it's usually when I've got a cold and I don't want to be sitting around with wet hair. Or if I've washed it earlier in the day and it's not quite dry enough to go out in the evening, 
I'll give it a bit of a blast just to sort of finish it off kind of thing. Um, this has got negative ions which helps reduce the static in your hair. It's got cool touch but the most important thing for me is how light the weight of it is. Um, because I do really, really struggle um, pain wise even just hold just putting my brush up to brush my hair or put my hair up in a ponytail some days it can leave me breathless with pain some days I just can't do it um, simple as I just I just can't I put a headband on or a hat and that'll have to do um, so the fact that it, it is so lightweight and that it's the fastest drying as tested on real hair by an external lab against what is currently available in the hair dryer market. Um, so I, I'd love to say that that's for medical reasons. It is a lot of it. It's also because it's so cool and I want one. But to be honest, the main thing is that it, it dries your hair so quickly without static and it's really lightweight so hopefully it shouldn't hurt me too much to actually use it. And the final thing on my list at $60, limited edition, exclusive to Sephora, is the Atarcha Best Sellers set. Uh, this contains uh, the Deep Cleanse, which is a cleanser infused with natural Japanese luffa fruit exfoliant that gently lifts impurities, unplugs pores and balances skin's moisture for a healthy look and glow. The Water Cream, which is an oil-free anti-aging moisturiser that transforms to release a burst of skin improving nutrients and refreshing hydration for clear, poreless looking skin. Uh, silk Canvas, which is a velvety smoothing balm of pressed silk that primes and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin, helping to minimise clogged pores and breakouts. And Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, a fine spray of this silky mist, gives skin a boost of hydration and an instant dewy glow. So, as I said, all those things together come to a grand total of 1,246 dollars, which on the 23rd of August, which is when I did all this research for this, would be £951.91 pence that I spent. So, that is my Sephora wish list. What's on yours? Have you done this yet? If you haven't yet done this challenge and you're watching this, I challenge you to do it too. Mainly because I'm a nosy cow and I want to know exactly what you would put on your list. Simple as. Um, if you're a regular viewer, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button for me and leave me a bit of a comment. What do you think of my choices? Would you have chosen any of those? Or would you choose different? Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have a channel, feel free to let me know in the comments box what you would add to your list because like I said I'm a nosy cow and I want to know these things um, YouTube at the moment are not sending emails out however they are still deleting people and the last time they updated their system they knocked all of the notifications back to personalised 
so please double check you're still subscribed because people are still being unsubscribed but my films are still appearing on your suggested feed it's not obvious that you've been off of the end of the list um, and while you're at it just double check that your notifications do say all because YouTube didn't notify creators or watchers of YouTube that they were changing the system on sending emails or not sending emails. I did ask them about it on Twitter and got told we were clogging people's emails up. Yes. But if we've followed the channel and we've put the bell on and we've said we want all notifications we want you to email us and tell us when they release a new film. That's not clogging up our emails, it's doing what we ask you to do. So on the likelihood that YouTube will change it back again in a fortnight without telling anybody, just double check you've got all notifications on. If you have stumbled over me by complete accident and you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've got a lot of other films you can watch, seeing as how YouTube are not sending notifications out. It'd be lovely if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. There's a, if, you, if you look just, just down there, just, just down there, there's a red button with subscribe on it. And if you hit that button, it goes grey. And then you could ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications in the hope that YouTube do change it back in a fortnight and you do get told when I upload new, new work films. In the meantime, if you're looking for some me time, see what I did there? There's so much else on this channel you can watch. Uh, there's this makeup tutorial where I look like a, a multicolored parakeet, but I quite like it. I do have uh, more traditionally wearable or work appropriate tutorials as well. Um, <clears throat> I've got duping of palettes, I've got Palette reviews, product reviews, foundation reviews, collabs, challenges, other tag films like this. I even read you my favourite poem. Um, so you, you're going to find something to interest you in one of my myriad of playlists. So like I said, if you're looking for some me time, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, pick a playlist. Get comfy and indulge. You've been there quite a while. There's a lot of films. Right, my lovelies, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.